All right, so following up on the previous tip where I show you how you can physically modify and customize your Wacom pen, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can repurpose multiple Wacom pens in case you have them. Now, in my case, I have a bunch of these because throughout the years that I've been using Wacom devices, I sort of like kept them, uh, so, you know, I have them lying around, but I'm gonna show you how you can repurpose these so that you can have them in your latest uh, device, your Cinti, whatever you have now, but you can have multiple uses for these old pens. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so first, let me go ahead and show you the functionality or why uh, you might want to change or, or customize two different pens. And so what I have here is just a quick sketch that I've been doing in ZBrush. And this is the Wacom Pen Pro or 3D Pen Pro that comes with the Cintiq. So what I've done here is that I map this first button to be my right click. So that way I can access this type of menus, right? Anytime that I click. But I also map these two buttons right here to different options or different menus that I have in my custom UI in ZBrush. So I could be working on something and I can just press this button right here and I have access to all my brushes and the palette that you know is relevant to the brushes. But if I press the other one, I have a bunch of other uh, tools that I can use. So I can inflate things like so. Obviously, this is not this is not great, but I can do all of that on the fly. So at any point, I can be sculpting and I can bring in my menus with one of the buttons or the other button um, to bring in the other menu. So I'll show you how you can map this out and how you can do it. But the idea is that with this pen itself, I can work in ZBrush in this fashion. Now, if I'm at the different stage of the process where I'm actually starting to block out or starting a project, I might actually start with this pen, right? Not this one. And I'll show you why. So with this pen, uh, let's go ahead and you know, I'm going to create something very, very simple here. Um, let's start with a sphere, like so. Now, the cool thing is that you can take this pen and to these buttons, you can map different tools in ZBrush or a different shortcut. So in this pen, what I can do is, uh, let's say during this process of blocking out, I generally speaking, I, I use masking a lot. So I can do something like that and I can press this button right here and that will bring in this custom menu. This is a radio menu from Wacom. Don't worry, I'm gonna cover this in a separate tip, but now I can click on my ZBrush masking and this brings all the features that I usually use when I'm doing this type of masking. So I can click on auto and that's going to fill the entire thing. Now I'm gonna get closer here. And again, I'm gonna click on the button to bring in my radio menu. I wanna access my Wacom um, masking tools. And another cool thing is that if I'm gonna keep using this radio menu, I can pin it so it doesn't go away. So for example, with this mask, I can go ahead and shrink it and keep clicking on that so it shrinks. Uh, but if I wanna sharpen it, I can just boost that mask again, like so. I can hide the mask or bring it back. I can invert it and I can use things like grow, this sort of thing, right? right. So this is something that I use a lot during the blockout stage. And that's why I prefer to use this pen when I'm blocking something. And then when I have something that is a bit more you know, polish or, or ready to polish, I simply just uh, move to the other pen, which allows me to access my, my brushes, for example, which is obviously something that I use a lot more uh, during this process of just refining and, and sketching. All right, so now that I've shown you kind of like the functionality of customizing two pens on the same device, let's go ahead and go step by step on how you can set it up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the Wacom Center right here. So this is what you would install with your drivers. And like I said, my Wacom device is a Cintiq Pro 27. So this is what I have here. And you'll notice I have this Pro Pen 3, uh, this one right here, and the Pro Pen 2. So those are the two pens that I use the most, like I said, for different stages of the process. And by the way, on a side note, these pens recognize the software that you're using. And because I use ZBrush a lot, it, I can use this too. But if you use Photoshop or any other software, you can customize them depending on the software. So if I use another software, I can customize the two pens to do a completely set of different things in that software. And when you switch between software, it will recognize what the, the action or the intended action or shortcuts would be. Now, all we have to do to customize something is either click on one of these um, images here or just directly click on this. I'm gonna click on the Pro Pen 3 and then we have the visual of the pen, and then we can go ahead and click on any of these buttons to customize it. Now, at the bottom, you have all the specific apps that you might use. Uh, currently, it's set to all other applications because I'm in the Wacom Center, that's the active window, and this is the default setting. So it, essentially, if you don't assign any, any specific shortcuts to your pen in different uh, software, these are the ones that is going to be used. So I have erase, middle click, right click, and click, right? But if I click on ZBrush, you'll see that this changes. So I have all Q, and Alt A. So these are the shortcuts that I have assigned to these two palettes that I mentioned before. Now, if we go back into ZBrush and I press the Alt Q, that's gonna bring this palette. And if I press the Alt A on my keyboard, that's gonna bring this other palette, right? So Alt Q and Alt A are my custom palettes. And you can customize shortcuts in any software. Um, you know, that's what I've done in ZBrush. So basically now I can click on this one, on this button right here. 
and it will bring up these actions. So you can do a bunch of different things with these buttons. So the one that I'm interested in is this keyboard shortcut because that's what I assign in ZBrush. So I'm going to click on that one and you see I have Alt Q. I can delete this and I'm going to type it again, Alt Q. And if you have a name for a specific thing, so again, if you go back to ZBrush and I press Alt Q, these are my tools, this one right here. So you can name it just so that you know what you're doing. So I'm going to call it my tools. So that is exactly the same and I'm going to apply it. So now my tools is applied to these buttons. And let's go ahead and do the same thing with this one. Keyboard shortcut, Alt A, this is going to be brushes or brush stuff. So that's the other palette I'll show you in a second. So in ZBrush, this is the brush stuff. So I mapped two different shortcuts to these custom palettes. And now I can bring them with this pen. Now let's go ahead and click on Pro Pen 2. And you'll see this is the only application that I have assigned to this pen because ZBrush is where I can differentiate the workflows uh, quite a bit. So it, it becomes more relevant in this case. Now this pen doesn't have three buttons, but it does have an erase in case you want to use it. So what I've done is map this button right here, the second button to the ZBrush tools. So if I click on this one, this ZBrush tools is a custom radial menu that I've created. Again, I'll show you that in a different tip, but all you need to do is select the custom radial menu that you want, or if you don't want a, a radial menu, you can just you know assign maybe another ZBrush shortcut and that will be it, right? So very, very easy to do. And depending on which pen you use, Wacom will actually recognize it and give you those access or, or those shortcuts to the pen. All right, so that's it for this tip, but stay tuned because in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can customize and create your own radial menus. I'll see you there.